Hello everyone, how are you? This is yours truly, Diabetic Cycling, coming at you once again. This channel is sponsored by my own damn wallet and brought to you by your engagement, such as subscribing to this channel, liking this video, and commenting or questioning down below. I don't have any ulterior motive like having a shop that I need to sell you something. I'm not chasing any advertising money to keep my dying magazine business still afloat. I'm not a douchey social media influencer that has a different agenda to shove something down your throat. As always, I am going to be as transparent and upfront with you as possible with the product that I'm going to show you today. Now, having said all that, today is uh, today's episode actually has a sponsored item for the very first time but if you have seen me last couple of years i hope that you would trust me that regardless of whether a product has been sent to me or not that i would have my integrity and honesty that's on the line here that i'll do my best to keep things completely objective and give you my honest opinion Okay, so let's talk about why I prefer cargo bib shorts over normal bib shorts first. So I'm a roadie now. The cargo bibs, I guess, in true spirit were designed for such as gravel riders so that uh, you are deep in the mountain, just out in the boonies and you're riding you need to carry a lot more stuff or if you're riding with a flannel shirt and you don't have the typical jersey rear pockets you need ability to carry things with you now so me being a hundred percent roadie why do i prefer cargo bib shorts so before i go into my own preferences um do keep in mind what i like may not be something you're looking for and what's important to you may not be something that's important to me. So your mileage may vary here. I'm just gonna share with you why I care for these. Number one reason is that I have a severe issue with my right shoulder and actually worsening left shoulder. My right shoulder, I have uh, something called uh, adhesive capsulitis. So basically I have no range of motion in my right shoulder. Like for example, I wouldn't be able to throw a ball or my, I can't raise my right arm any higher than here. Anything higher up would be uh, extremely painful. Even that right there was actually pretty painful. So why is that important to me? My, rear, my right arm can actually reach the rear jersey pocket. So normally, my homies that I ride with, they will see me use my left arm to reach the far right jersey pocket, which if you see for behind me, it's gonna look pretty ridiculous. But so there's a physical ailment issue that I really appreciate the side pockets available on cargo bibs. And then on top of that, certain jerseys from certain companies position the rear pockets actually higher up. So uh, they're like almost in the middle of the back, not on the lower back. So when the pockets are so high up, even with my left arm, like I mentioned earlier, this one's getting worse too. So I can't, I really have a hard time reaching for anything that's in my rear pocket. So another reason why I love cargo bibs would be like typical Saturdays for me, I'm riding 100, 100 plus miles, usually deep in the mountains where there are no stores, which means what? I need to carry on board with me everything that I'm gonna need for that ride. That would include hydration, nutrition, spare kits, camera, whatever else. So having access to all these additional pockets obviously come in very handy. Then next reason, I don't know how many of you may agree with me or not, but I really hate the look of my rear jersey pockets just completely full of stuff where they're sagging. That really drives me nuts and I really don't care for it. Now, sometimes depending on what you have back there, your jersey will actually start coming up like this and start choking you. Okay, well that's a little hyperbole, but you know what I'm trying to say. 
Uh, besides, during summer times, I have my jerseys unzipped anyway, so it wouldn't choke me. But, so um, I don't really care for that look. So, especially during winter time, by the time you got your jacket peeled off, and you got your sleeves undone, and you got them stuffed in your rear pocket, and everything just starts to sag, and that bothers me. All right, so then another reason why I love cargo bibs. So during hot summer days, I may just go out riding maybe up to 60 miles those days. I may just have one of these shirts on. So it's just a shirt, sleeveless, have no jersey pocket. So what do I do? I wear bibs, the cargo bibs, where it's got pockets and I can stuff everything I need for that ride in those pockets. Therefore, it comes in very handy. So what are the downsides of cargo bibs? I can't really think of many, but one of the reasons maybe, depending on the fabric that's used to construct the bibs, the side pockets, the panel that creates the pocket, maybe, so it's obviously dual layer at that point, so maybe trapping sweat. So cat can get sweaty down there uh, along your thighs. So that's a possibly a negative. Also another thing, if you abuse the rear pockets of your bib shorts and you have a lot of things stuffed in there, you could look like a hunchback. All right, some of the things that I look for in a pair of cargo bibs. I'm looking for general overall fit. I don't want like a baggy fit. I don't want to constricting. So I'm looking for a good fit. I'm looking for how the seams and stitching, all that is done. I'm looking for um, the thigh bands. I mean, no different than your normal regular bibs, but I'm looking for the thigh bands where they are secure and snug enough for where they're not gonna ride up and bunch up and they're not so loose, looking like a board short. So I'm looking for the thigh bands to do the work correctly. I am also looking for the fabric that the bibs are made of because, uh, you know, Lower quality bib shorts, the fabric's not gonna be that high end, which means it's gonna fail from sweat wicking and things of that nature. All right, so the next thing that I look for in the bib shorts, obviously the chamois, all important chamois. Now this is where you and I may have some different opinion because what I am like may be something you don't care for and because we have different standards in judgment, right? It's not quantifiable, so, um, you know, your mileage may vary, so I'll share with you. Basically, you're looking for general comfort. You're, uh, you're uh, looking for ability for the chamois to, you know, wick away sweat again. And general, you know, support, all that is very important while the chamois not feeling like a wet diaper. And then finally, but importantly, cargo bibs, perhaps the sole reasons why they exist, I look for how usable the pockets are. Typically, you're looking for your um, thigh pockets on the side and you're looking for your rear pockets on the back side of your bib shorts, which is what I call trunk. All right, so for the rest of this episode, all the bib shorts that I'm gonna show are gonna hang on my new titanium frame um, while it's on a stand to be built, um, just a hanging, like a coat rack. Is, am I flexing or is that just pretty douchey? Drop your answer down below. All right, so the first pair that I'm gonna show you is from a company called Primal Wear. These are called Obsidian Cargo Bib. This is a uh, being sold right now for $120 and it's a overall a very solid pair. And basically it's all black in appearance. The branding is not outlandish at all. So you have a logo on the backside and then you have another one just on the inner thigh of your left leg. So appearance wise, it's pretty stealthy and um, it's very understated which I like. I've tested this pair for more than six months now and the fit is absolutely superb and the stitching is awesome. In terms of a thigh grip, its uh, inner side has its inner side has a rubberized texture where um, the bands hug very snugly onto thighs and they stay secure. 
In terms of pockets, the side pocket is created with a mesh-like material, outer material, where uh, inner, the, whatever you're carrying could be visible, but also at the same time, because the extra fine mesh material is so lightweight and thin, you really don't feel any additional, like a piece of clothing while you're wearing either. And those side pockets are deep and it's really good width and they're also very deep. Uh, I don't worry about anything coming out of this while I'm riding, so the side pockets, act, side pockets are very, very useful. Okay, you probably can't see very well, but the, one of the rear pockets, I have my iPhone 12 Max that's in there. So um, you could tell how deep the rear pockets are and it's, deep enough if you ask me so obviously you see my phone isn't gonna like really pop out of the pocket or anything so um, the rear pockets are relatively useful it's a uh, you know large enough and deep enough for things like you know lightweight wallet your mini pump and you know like you saw I could even carry my phone in there so good all right, so in terms of chamois, the uh, chamois is more than sufficient. The sit bone area support is uh, superb, very nice. And rest of the chamois being appropriate to the size where it doesn't create any friction or anything of that nature. Overall, pretty comfortable, good pair of bibs, especially for $120 with all the pockets that you get. Outstanding pair, I would recommend. All right, so the next pair that I'm gonna show you is from company, little little company called Oakley. Now, perhaps not the prominent name that you would think of when you are shopping for cargo bibs. You know, sunglasses and helmet, obviously Oakley, very well known, but for the bibs. Now, I bought these for $64 when they had them on sale, usually sells for $140. Pretty much all black affair, uh, pretty streamlined the look again. And surprisingly and unexpectedly, this pair punches way above its weight. Okay, so like I said, the bibs are pretty much all black affair uh, with the exception of the rear pockets that are white panels and then stitching is done in gray. In terms of, uh, in speaking of stitching, very, very, just completely flawless. And in terms of the fit, it's Oakley's performance fit. Um, I, I couldn't tell you if they have a regular, normal, loose fit, but um, the bibs fit really well, very snug, uh, sporty, just, Awesome, really no complaints there at all. Now in terms of a cargo, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. In terms of the thigh band, uh, pretty wide band and about the lower half of it has the rubberized, rubberized grip on the uh, bottom side on the half of it where um, does an excellent, excellent job keeping things where they need to be and don't, the, the legs don't um, ride up, stays fit. Awesome. Out of nine pairs of cargo bibs that are in my rotation, this is the only pair that has just one side pocket and that's on the left hand side. So normally when I uh, wear these, I have my SIS gels in my uh, leg pocket. So having just one pocket could go both ways. So some of you may like, hey, that's all I need. I just need one extra pocket that's easy to get to instead of my rear jersey pocket. So that's plenty for me. Uh, then some of you may go, hey, I might as well have pockets where I could carry just so that I could carry a lot more additional things on board. So um, that's the situation with the side pocket. Now, as you see here, the panel is constructed with the uh, non-mesh material. It's the same material as rest of the uh, shorts. So um, it is another layer, basically. Uh, the pocket is, you know, my hand is a medium hand and the width wise, it just, you know, my hand goes in and there's not enough, not any extra room there. So it's a, uh, just about wide enough but not too narrow and the pockets deep enough to carry just about anything and everything you want and the elastic completely secure no, no danger of anything falling out of there all right so having said all that rear pockets basically where this pair fails for me despite all the nice things that's going for itself so uh, the, the two pockets are uh, side by side and as you can see 
my iPhone 12 Max just kind of just barely over halfway mark, right? Um, now nothing has fallen out of here during my ride, but it's just not deep enough where I would have any sort of a confidence to carry anything here that's got any sort of a length. Um, you could definitely carry your CO2 uh, canisters in here with uh, no issues, but I mean mini pump and such, I don't know. And then Oakley has this thing called the smart pocket system for you know smart devices, but the pocket itself, I really don't see anything that would, you know, render why these pockets are any different than any other pockets from any other bib shorts in terms of carrying anything that's digital. So um, eh. I feel a little weird about showing the chamois, uh, you know, flip to where you could actually see the chamois. I, I don't know why I feel dirty. I mean, they're clean. I mean, they've been laundered. I got nothing to hide. I mean, absolutely clean, but I just feel a little weird about showing you the chamois. Am I weird? What do you think? Drop a comment below. Anyhow, um, so the chamois wise, uh, this chamois I like a lot. Now, this does not have, in, in appearance, it looks very um, standard, run of the mill, nothing special. Uh, there is no like a 3D paneling or 18 different panels to create this intricate design inside. But this, I'll take this uh, chamois on a 100 mile ride anytime, anywhere. I love the uh, overall support. Um, some, I could see some might say it's a little diaper-like, but um, the contour and everything, I love this chamois. Okay, so the next pair that I'm gonna show you is the pair that I mentioned earlier that is not sponsored by my own damn wallet. Okay, so if those of you who watched my first uh, episode of the Battle of Cargo Bibs Part 1, where I, compare three cargo bibs. Now I mentioned this company bibs in that short, in that episode where I go, hey, I really wanted to try this company's cargo bibs, but they're out of stock. Now, the, why did I want that company's cargo bibs? When I saw them online, the rear pockets, way they have them really appeal to me because rear pockets need to be functional on cargo bibs. And just like what you saw the, from the first two bibs that I showed you in this episode, as well as my part one episode, which I'll link right here, the, I talk about rear pockets a lot because the pockets need to be functional. And some pairs would have a rear pocket that's too shallow where things would literally fall out of there. I actually dropped my phone once. So anyhow, several months after my part one episode went out where I talk about I couldn't get these, um, this pair because they were out of stock, the co that company's owner apparently saw that episode and reached out to me, hey DC, can I offer you the pair that you wanted uh, for your review? I in turn asked, hey, do you are you expecting me to say anything in return other than me that I received them from uh, you sending and uh, just to be transparent with you guys. And the owner agreed and they do not have any say uh, in my narrative for this uh, pair that I'm sharing with you right now, nor have they seen this episode before you to say anything or whatever. That all said, let me show you the pair. The company is called Red White apparel and the reason well before i get to the reason let's talk about everything else that we've been talking about so the fit absolutely snug um, this thing is your second skin i love the way this thing fits um, maybe if you're slightly overweight might be a little bit tight but you know it does a very good job just uh, kind of stretching to kind of a mold to your body shape. Uh, in terms of uh, stitching, really, really good. Um, I do see not as a smooth um, in parts where like junctions, I would call, um, where different seams are intersecting. So they have a, just a little bit of bulk there, not as a seamless, pun intended, um, as um, others may be. So, um, that's as far as that as far as the uh, appearance is concerned it's just solid all black affair you are going to be a 
um, penguin basically out there. It's just all black, very stealth looking. Um, no branding at all, nothing garish, nothing outlandish at all. Other than only branding, I'm gonna try to show you on the camera. I don't know if it's gonna show. Only branding is that right there. So you're gonna have this little metal, little button, maybe size of a quarter that says RW, red, white on there. That's it. This pair costs $160, so it's one of the pricier ones that's shown on this uh, episode in terms of a thigh grabber. Um, absolutely just epic. And the inner rubber dots, maybe the camera will pick up, the, just do excellent job, again, keeping things uh, just tight. During winter time, I had these on with my uh, leg warmers. Everything just stays where they need to be, just super awesome now let me get to the highlight of this pair so let's start with the thigh uh, i'm sorry the side pockets so side pockets are designed where the top is a bit narrower than the bottom in terms of the base so when you put things in there so the pockets go like that i'm exaggerating a little bit but you have a narrower top and wider bottom so nothing really falls out everything is secure you got tons of storage space in there and just everything feels tight and secure i really like it now the uh, outside panel is made with the mesh material like that so you could sort of see what's going on back there um, so side pockets are super useful but here's the deal the rear pockets unlike every other pair that i was showing you in episode one and this episode the pockets are not side to side pockets are actually top and bottom so both rear pockets would occupy entire width of the backside where they are positioned so I mean, this pocket alone, the top rear pocket is where on their advertisement, they have a full banana sitting in here. So uh, very wide, multi-purpose. I usually carry on a long ride, um, like a, I have my saddlebag, but then I also have a other like wallet, like a tool bag that has my mini pump, extra levers, extra canisters. Cause if you're out on a hundred mile and you're alone, you need to be self-sufficient. I mean, you, you, you're you carrying two, three inner tubes. I mean, I got a lot of things on there just so that I'm not stranded where there's no cell phone signal available. So I carry a lot of things in there. So this comes absolutely handy, love it. Now the bottom pocket is even wider because you know it's just sitting directly on the top of your uh, butt or lower back. Positioning is a little bit odd because uh, your, jer your jersey would end right here. So the, the rear pocket will show, not covered by the jersey. So whatever the content you carry in here will show to the outside world. And depending on what you carry, it looks a little odd because uh, you're not expecting to see anything dangling that low on your body. Um, but who cares if I could uh, securely carry things and I'm not gonna run out of whatever during my ride, perfect. So this pair really is awesome. Now, let's talk about the chamois. So the chamois looks and feels great. Now the sit bone area support is absolutely superb. Rest of the area, however, um, leaves a slight room for desire. Um, I find these shorts it, you know, great for anything from 80 to 90 miles or so. After about, after that, I start feeling a little uncomfortable down there compared to the other pairs. So um, up to about 80, 90 miles, my personal preference, um, they, they fell a little bit short as far as that's concerned, but anything under that, no problem, excellent excellent pair and that is um you know my honest true opinion not because this was sent to me i would highly recommend either or all right so the next pair that i'm gonna show you 99 percent of you wouldn't be familiar with this outfit at all so these are by a shop 
called Maverick Cycles in Whittier, California. They're actually owned and operated by my homies that are super close to me. And um, now you may be saying, oh, okay, so he's showing some pairs from his homies. This is gonna be biased. No, none of that. So um, I did pay full retail prices for these. I did not ask for any hookups. Uh, they're homies. I mean, it's their business. I don't want to go in there and ask them for a discount when it's literally their means of supporting their family. I happily paid for these and no issues with that at all. So um, I will share with you, uh, they have the orange, they have the pink, but as you can see, they're not your typical orange and typical Pink. And for the sake of the rest of this uh, episode, I will toss this pair and just work with this pair only. So as you can see, the straps are white. So um, if you have a white a jersey on top, they're not going to be uh, obtrusive. And it's a full back, but as you can see in the middle section is a mesh-like material. It's common uh, material find in very lightweight base layer. And the straps are um, full width strap. Um, they don't dig in at all. Obviously, they're very soft in terms of the straps are concerned. In terms of seams, I mean, construction is, you couldn't ask for more than uh, what they've done here. Uh, and then the overall fit, super racy, professional looking fit. So love the fit here. Now, branding is, li it could go, I guess uh, you, you, you you may like, you may not like. So the both side pockets carry their branding loud and proud as you see here. And then you also have this uh, thing on the rear. So um, if you don't want big, large letterings on your <laughs> bib shorts, maybe they're not the ones. But um, <clears throat> overall, this is an excellent pair. Let me uh, walk you through. So side pockets, just deep enough, just wide enough. Now, as far as the outer layer is concerned, it is the same material that uh, is used for rest of the uh, construction. So it is literally another layer, not like a light mesh material. So um, it is literally, again, a second layer on top of what you would normally have as a regular bib shorts. So you could feel a little bit warmer where the pockets are lined up. Now, in terms of the rear pockets, now this is where it's a super extra nice. So the pockets are very deep in terms of uh, depth is concerned and they are side, side to side and they're huge, bro. And to a point where, hold on, let me see if I could uh, demonstrate this. By the way, this is a super long, extra long bottle. Normal bottle would only come about this height. So uh, don't let that uh, fool you. So the rear pocket, you could literally carry water bottles. And yet the pockets are super snug where you're not gonna be worried about losing any content in here. Again, they're deep enough where such things as mini pump and wallets and phones and everything will stay exactly where they are. Now for the demonstration and comparison reasons, I'll put my iPhone 12 Max and it actually goes in its entirety where no phone is visible outside of it. So um, again, pockets are very useful, which is a home run for me. Now, as you, as you see here, the uh, leg band very wide and then the entire inner side of the leg band is actually rubberized and hold, does a great job holding, it's about three inches in uh, the depth, right? So it's the entire three inches inside, rubberized, holds onto your legs. Great job holding things uh, where they need to be in terms of um, the inner gripper. Finally, the as far as the chamois is concerned, has plenty of support on the sit bone area. Again, I feel like the rest of the area does need a bit of an improvement. I prefer these bibs for anything from 60 to 80 miles or so. Um, anything longer than that, discomfort starts to you know, sneak up on you. So uh, that's what I need to say about the chamois. But overall, just if you 
talk about overall package, not just one thing, one particular thing only. This is a, such a superb pair. I highly recommend that you check them out. Uh, they are sold for $160 each. Now, before I wrap up though, um, this pair, the fabric material, I don't know what what they use or what they have access to, but it has this little uh, texture there as well. And it's premium as premium is gonna get. I mean, this is uh, so luxurious and just so soft. Um, I just love the feel when I have these on. And, um, it's just awesome in terms of the, the quality while worn. So uh, that's something that goes high for me with this pair. All right, so I hope you enjoyed everything that I've shown you so far. Currently, really in regular rotation would be the uh, the Maverick Cycles, the pink and orange ones, and the red, white apparel ones that I constantly rotate. And depending on the occasion, I will go for the Oakley pair or the Primal pair, as well as the excellent Rafa pair for $130, which basically is the great bang for buck pair that I have. And, um, you also cannot beat the $80 a pair from Black Bibs Company, uh, which were featured in the uh, previous Battle of the Cargo Bibs episode. All right, so that wraps up this episode. Thank you for sticking around. So what are your favorites that I have not shown here? So obviously you got companies like uh, Pass Normal, you got your Map, you got your... Uh, uh, ASOS, I mean, all these companies, but I also draw the line at some point where beyond certain dollar amount, I sort of, hey, you know, is it gonna be that much nicer? Um, knowing what the industry uses in terms of available fabric and such, I kind of go, eh, you know, I draw the line at about $150, $160, and some may say even that's just a little too much. So anyhow, do share what your favorites are. I would love to hear. Oh, all right. Well, there you have it. Keep the rubber side down. Be safe out there, you guys. And you've been awesome. I've been diabetic cycling. Until next time, take care and I'm out.